the topic for today is the Nickelback effect. So this is an idea that I've talked about a little bit on the channel before, and uh, I want to elaborate on it and sort of uh, give some classification to it. So um, pretty much everyone knows the band Nickelback, but in a sense, Nickelback is infamous because people tend to deem Nickelback as a bad uh, band. And granted, their music isn't amazing. Their, their songs are uh, pretty simplistic in terms of their chord progressions. Their lyrics aren't uh, crazy with meaning and whatnot. But the thing that, that the point that I want to get across is that in all honesty and in all uh, aspects of it, Nickelback is an average band. They they had uh, they had one album which was extremely popular. For, uh, that album was All the Right Reasons, and back in the time of that album's release, they were very popular and they were very uh, there was a lot of fans of Nickelback. And the thing is that. Um, there, a lot of people listen to their music, including me. I have a lot on my phone just because I actually had their uh, their big hit album. Um, but something changed, and and what changed was that Nickelback became a meme, and so uh, over time, this this idea of seeing them on the internet as being funny sort of created this aspect of of people thinking that their music was a lot worse than it is, than it actually is. And it, it's interesting psychologically because I think that, yes, Nickelback didn't really have that good music to start off, but what happened was a lot of people, because they saw them as a joke, they didn't give them any respect, and it actually lowered their actual perception of the music itself. Um, it, it's it's funny because I'll go back and I'll listen to some of the songs and I'll think to myself, this isn't that bad. There's there's solid electric guitar in here. Yes, it is a little harder than uh, most of the the top forty hits of today, but that is a a preference thing. That's not necessarily a a musical quality problem. Um, so, but the thing is that uh, this this effect doesn't really restrict itself to Nickelback, and so that's what I want to talk about is that. It is something that happened to Nickelback and is still happening to Nickelback, but it isn't uh, it isn't restricted to Nickelback. So I want to broaden the scope a little bit. And so what essentially I'm saying is that there's this phenomena where if something becomes famous on the internet for being funny, uh, or or in a funny sense, whereas it becomes a, a meme where there's pictures and and weird videos of them on the internet, then it is. It does draw attention, and a lot of people say any attention is good attention in in the in the music industry and in, in showbiz and whatnot. But it doesn't really work that way. And uh, so when people get this this perception of of a a, a group or a a person as um, non -res not respected and and sort of this this character that is just a, a laughing stock of the internet. It really puts a dampen on how people perceive that person's work, and it's interesting because um, there's there's a lot of different uh, situations where this occurs. If you look at perhaps Kanye West in a different light, people don't see him as a good person, and I would have to agree with them on that. Um, he's done a lot of, of uh, interesting things. He's said some bad things on the internet. He's uh, he has a very high opinion of himself, but the thing is, you can't deny that he has talent, and that that's where I'm I'm getting at is that a lot of people tend to link the product to the creator too much, and I think that's a bad idea because if you look at the actual production that the person has created, then it's it there should be some objective view now i understand that when it comes to music when it comes to art it's not usually an objective kind of situation a lot of times people tend to perceive things how they perceive it and uh and everybody sees things differently but the the interesting fact is that um when the perception is a, is changed by 
uh, people's preconceived notions through uh, funny pictures on the internet, then it tends to sort of ruin the experience for people and they actually feel as if that song is bad or that that even that painting is bad um and i think that that's a problem that i have with the art industry and actually with anything that has that has media scrutiny is that um with anything that is seen so subjectively people tend to base everything off of an initial um an initial spark an initial uh idea that they gain on upon uh having this this person or group introduced to them and so if someone were to say randomly uh pick a number one through however many songs there are on an album of somebody's music and they happen to pick the worst song on the album, then when they go to hear the best song, they'll probably not have as good of an experience with the the music in general as if uh, as someone who hears the best song first and then goes and listens to the worst song. Um, but I'm I'm sidetracking a little bit. So this this Nickelback effect has affected many uh different artists and and people throughout the the years um lincoln park got nickelbacked for a little bit um shia labeouf is currently getting nickelbacked but um he's he's kind of pushing it with a lot of the things he's doing and uh i think that it's important for people to step back every once in a while and try and look at how the world is viewing something and see if that's an actual objective view of, of something um, because people tend to believe that if a large group of people come to the same decision then that means that that decision is the correct decision but that doesn't necessarily hold true because in the world we live in with social media connecting everyone um, people tend to come to the same decision because one person comes to that decision tells their friends and it affects their decision-making process and then they tell their friends. And so that's how ideas propagate and it doesn't necessarily allow for this objective view. And so obviously no one can truly be objective, we'll always have biases with anything, but I think it's important for you to try to step out of your own perspective and look at things from a, things from a third party perspective or perhaps go and ask a third party um, in in a scientific manner where you try to not um, uh, you try to not persuade someone one way or the other before asking them a question um, so that's that's the nickelback effect it's uh, to summarize it's um, mass memification causing a reduce in respect which then alters the perception of the viewers um, in in a negative connotation so um, that's all I want to really say on the topic, and uh, with a quick break and switching some things up, I'm going to be moving on to my random drawing. So I will be right back with that. <laughs> 